Now, before we get in and we start to create Microsoft Word templates, let's make sure we got a solid understanding of what templates are all about. Now, open in front of you, I've just got Microsoft Word, and I've gone up into my File tab, and I went to New. You can take a look here if I hit the back arrow. So it'll take me back out to my Word interface. I go to File, I go to New, or you open up Microsoft Word, you just create a new document. Now, we've seen that you have an option for blank document, but you've also got all these default templates that Microsoft has created for us that we can create inside of Microsoft Word. Now, essentially, a template is really some predefined structure to a given document. For example, I want to be able to create a resume. Well, what does the resume look like? How should I lay it out? What types of fonts should I use? And so on. Well, thankfully, to get us started, you won't have to create it from scratch, Microsoft has created some resume templates. And if I look here, I've got one called Creative Resume Design. I've got a cover letter. I've got Crisp and Clean Resume, Crisp and, crisp and Clean Cover Letters a polished resume. These are all templates that have some structure, some layout to them, fonts, colors, and so on, that once I create it, I got that base that foundation, and then I could just plug in my data into the template. Okay. You've probably filled out paper forms before, right? You go down to the doctor's office, you go down to a uh, place of employment, they're probably gonna give you a form, a paper form, physical paper, right? for you to be able to fill out. But you're filling it out. You have a template in your hands. Somebody has already created it. Now you're just filling out your particular data. Now you've got all sorts of templates, default out of the box templates that Microsoft's created for you. I can use these suggested searches here to look for specific type, types of templates. Maybe I'll go to business. This search is online. Thousands of templates available to us. And then they break that down into a little more categories for us. But here I can see I got one called Project Scope. I've got business cards. I've got labels. Got all sorts of these templates that we could use. Let's see, Business Letterhead. That's a good one. Business Letterhead Stationery. I'll go ahead and select that. Business Letterhead Stationery. Simple design. Create your own business letterhead with this template featuring green lines and gradients in the top and bottom of the page. And room for a logo. If I go ahead and create, give it just a moment, it's got to download it. But now I've got this nice structured document based on this template. I can replace the, the content that I don't need. This will be Office Noob. I can put in my name over here. Actually, that's the recipient's name there. But we'll just say Kyle Pugh. Uh, one, two, three, four, Pine Street, yada, yada, yada. Put in today's date. Today is, can you believe it, man? So time just goes by so quickly. Today's the 12th. And dear Kyle. And then I can replace any of the text that I need in there, or maybe keep it, just modify it a little bit, whatever I need to do. Put your name down below, swap out the information down below, put your logo in there, and you've got your document going. But it's a template, already got predefined structure and elements in it. You just plug in the data that you need. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to close out of this template. No, I don't want to keep that. We're going to create a template. Actually, I'm going to give you a file that you can download. But we're going to turn around and do something really simple. We're going to take this document right here, and we're going to turn it into a template that we could then reuse. It's really simple to do. The most difficult part of utilizing a template is creating the original structure, the layout, the design, the colors, the font, and so on. That's the most difficult part. But once you get that set, kind of like this document right here, or that resume template we just looked at, or the uh, uh, business letter stationery that we just looked at, uh, once you got the structure built, you turn it into a template, and then you can just reuse it. It's like you got your own little personal photocopy machine here inside of Microsoft Word just spitting out these documents for you to use for various situations and different types of data. So take a look. We're going to get into the next video here, and we're going to see how to turn an existing document into a template.